Hey, what's up? It's Fisher Ed, and today we're out here in Ocean City. Sit at the Walmart. Just picked up some hooks and some sinkers, and today we're gonna target Tautogs. Uh, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I've never gone for them, but uh, I hear they like to eat crabs, so we're gonna go get some green crabs, put them on a hook, and see what happens. I got my buddy with me. You've seen him in some videos. He's known as Mr. Yeezy. Mr. Yeezy, okay. Because <laughs> he, he, he likes to take it easy. But anyway, um, we're gonna get some bait and then go from there. So here we are at the uh, Ocean City Inlet. Getting ready to do some tog fishing. Here's what we got. Bunch of sand fleas. They smell like shit. Hook them right through the tail here. And then, make sure drag is nice and tight. Just pick a hole, drop it in. And we wait, I guess. A little tog? Black sea bass. Oh. I'm pretty sure. No, it's a tog. Right? No, it's a bass. Is it? Yeah, black sea bass. Take a little photo. Motherfucker. Pretty quick. Oh, that was a nice hit. That was a tog. What? <laughs> no, I had something huge hit it hard. I should have let it eat for a second longer. You hear the drag come out. They're supposed to hit real hard. Oh, damn. What the fuck is down there? You know what I think it is? What's that? I think it's the puffer fish. <laughs> no way. That, that thing would have been chewed up. He's trying to eat the whole thing. Damn it. Jeez, there goes another rig. Sea biscuit. As they say, hooked him right in the eye. Perfect hook set. Oh. All right. Doubled up on the sea bass. If they were a little bigger, we could eat them. Yeah, there it goes. God, I fucked up his eye bad. Is there a legal size limit on sea bass? Huh? 16 inches. 16 inches? Four over 16. One of the two. Damn, 
Well, I was wondering if there was a size limit at all, then you could just use it for cut bait. Oh my god. It's really annoying. What's that? Having to retie a rig after rig after rig. <laughs> Welcome to Ocean City. Okay. have here are green crabs. What the hell is this crab? Oh, the tide here is moving like crazy. How am I supposed to fish this? I don't think we can fish this, buddy. Fighter! Look, I caught him around the outside of the mouth. Look at his little teeth. God, that looks crazy. Little tog teeth. It's my first tog. Oh, he just got off. Sea bass. Motherfucker. Stealing my crab. Damn, that was a good hit. That fucking bent my rod. Damn it! That was a sick hit. Yeah. That's a tog. Might be a keeper, let's see. Come in. <laughs> oh no, we got it. Dirty. He is 13. Hmm. What's the legal size? 13. I think it's it's gotta be 16. It does? Yep. Oh, that stinks. That's a nice one. Still take a picture. I like your mind. All right. No problem. Sick or what?
Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's another 13. You gotta let them eat it. That's or here, like bury the hook in a way where like the hook is like inside the shell. Oh. oh my god, they hit like a freight train. My wrist is actually kind of hurting right now. I can only imagine what a keeper sized hog feels like. It must feel like a freaking train wreck or something. Oh, here's a little update. It's a new new tog just caught. Oh average seems to be 13. Good lord, is he gonna survive? Fight. It's like fucking harder than any bat. Yeah. Little photo shoot. Here, hold him. Hold his tail side. Hold him sideways. Alright, so I, I, never, I never got around to filming the uh, outro to the video, so I'm just gonna. Just recap everything that happened now. Uh, started the day out really early. Um, I live on the the other side of the bay, the west side. So for us to get to Ocean City, it takes us about two and a half or three hours. So I left at three in the morning. We got there uh, possibly around like 7:30. And the first spot, uh, well. We went to the Oceanic Pier first, didn't really get the bait that we wanted. We wanted to get green crabs, but they only had sand crabs, the sand fleas, or whatever you want to call them. So we started using sand fleas, and I didn't really produce too many togs, or, well, it didn't produce a single tog in the first spot, which was the inlet. And we caught a lot of sea bass, but then once we decided to find some green crabs we started getting into the togs so we went all the way to Fenwick's got uh, two quarts of green crabs which only costed five dollars um, five dollars a quart so so for ten dollars I had enough green crabs to fish for like five hours or six hours on a consistent bite so we went to the bulkhead on 2nd Street and uh, that's when that's when the togs really started biting I got probably like anywhere from like eight or nine togs I think um, I didn't film all the ones that I caught but um, most of them were on film and it was awesome I ended up uh, cutting the green crabs in half and then clipping off uh, the legs and the arms and then just sort of like feeding the hook through one of the arm sockets and then back through uh, the shell of the body 
all in all, it was a pretty awesome day. I caught a lot of fish, no keepers, but hey, man, it's fun, and that's why they call it fishing and not catching. So I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos, and I really it would be really awesome if you guys would subscribe. So uh, click the link below and go ahead and subscribe because I'm going to be making more videos and I need people to watch those videos. So thank you.